You're listening to the Packernet Podcast Network. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard in your entire life of test driving a phone network? Well, now you have, because U.S. Cellular is going to let you test drive their network for free for 30 days. So anywhere you go where you got some dead spots, where your service isn't super strong, you're trying to listen to the podcast and it drops out when you go here because you got no internet service anymore, real simple. Just whip out your phone, do a little beep boop bop boop, that's you pushing the buttons to go to the right place, and you can get the app and try it out for yourself. So go ahead and test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. That's U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply, awards based on open signal independent data. So go to uscellular.com for all the details. I want to tell you guys real quick about our new sponsor, Factor. Factor makes delicious, ready-to-eat meals, and they get sent right to your door. They have 35 different options every single week that you can choose from including keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. There's no prep work. There's no messing up six different bowls, mixing stuff. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat. No prep, no cook, no cleanup. Factor is also very flexible with your schedule. You can get as much or as little as you need by choosing between 6 to 18 meals per week. You can also pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved. So head to factormeals.com slash packdaddy50 and use code packdaddy50 to get 50% off. That's code packdaddy50 at factormeals.com slash packdaddy50 to get 50% off. It's time to talk about the Green Bay Packers. This is your Packers update, the Daily Cheese, brought to you by Packernet.com and powered by Overtime Media. The Daily Cheese is a collaboration with the Packernet Podcast, hosted by Mr. Ryan Schlipp, the Pack Daddy. And I am your host, JJ Leahy. Follow me on Twitter at JJLAHEY and get in the conversation. I'd love to talk to you. I wish, I really wish that it was already Wednesday so I could give you some updates about Devontae Adams and... Kenny Clark and their respective injuries. I can't. Injury report doesn't come out until tomorrow. Luckily, I know what football fans love, rumors and speculation. So we're going to jump into what we do know about Devante and Kenny Clark, because we have a huge heavyweight matchup coming this Sunday evening. The Packers head down to New Orleans to take on the Saints in the Superdome. It's going to be a bloodbath. So let's start by hearing from a guy who's close to the situation. I believe I'm pronouncing this correctly. Mr. Matt LeFleur. Matt, would uh, Devontae have played if it was closer later in the game? And do you have any indication on if he'll be able to go this week? Well, yeah, I know he wanted to go back in the game. I just told him, hey, let's just let's see how these these next few series go and see if we need you because uh, obviously he's he's a huge part of what we do offensively and a key uh, member of this football team. So if, if we don't need him, I mean, we, we didn't want to put him back in a – position to do further harm to his own body. Fortunately, the Packers did not need Devontae, obviously. They hung out 42 points on the hapless Lions. We do know the injury was to his hamstring. You have to imagine, if Lafleur was considering possibly putting Devontae back in the game, this is a good sign. He was also seen standing on the sideline, frustrated that he wasn't playing, and did not appear to be struggling to walk. Although it's certainly imaginable that Devontae could miss time if this were a less important game, The Packers need all their weapons available this Sunday in the rumble against a potential NFC playoff heavyweight. If Devontae misses this week, it's likely a very serious injury and will lead to further missed weeks. Now, the Packers are opening as a three and a half point underdog on the road in New Orleans. You have to imagine some of that comes from the uncertainty over Pro Bowl nose tackle Kenny Clark's injury status. We have no official word from the team whatsoever about Kenny's groin injury. However, this year, NFL teams can bring back an unlimited number of players from injured reserve. 
meaning there's almost no reason not to put a player on IR if he's going to miss at least three weeks, which is the minimum number of weeks required to be missed if you put a player on IR. Therefore, it seems likely that the Packers are unsure he could be out for three whole weeks. He's missed one already in Detroit, and the Packers will dearly need him to play on Sunday. Their run defense has been seriously lacking, and getting Kenny back would be a huge boon to that defensive line, because they're walking into Alvin Kamara's house. One final injury to note, center Corey Lindsley hurt his hand, and unfortunately, it's his right hand that snaps the ball. The Packers' O-line has been dominant, one of the best in football. But after seeing a ton of injuries, missing a lot of players, they could possibly take another step backwards if they lose Lindsley, in which case Lucas Patrick likely fills in at center. That having been said, left guard Elton Jenkins was a center in college. It would not be a stretch to imagine that they look to fill Lindsley's shoes with Elton Jenkins. That does it for today. For more in-depth analysis and a look at Packers strategy, make sure you're subscribed to the Packernet Podcast, hosted by the Pack Daddy, Ryan Schlipp. Keep up on all the Green Bay Packers news by going to Packernet.com and follow the Packernet Podcast on Facebook. My name is JJ Leahy, and this has been the Daily Cheese, your Green Bay Packers news update.